Hello and welcome to another tutorial on real-time animation in iClone 7 and in this tutorial we are going to do some complex camera movements with some very simple and easy steps. So this is a very simple uh, so scene and uh, with a monolith so let's just get started and create a camera usually to animate a camera in iClone 7 uh, what we usually do is we select the choice of our lens and then say if we want to go around this monolith so what we can do is we can select our monolith and move the camera to our liking get a nice frame here and move ahead on the timeline and uh, move the camera so if you look at the camera there's a keyframe automatically created by iclone 7 but if we uh, play back it does not uh, rotate around the monolith our subject If we look at the preview and look at the camera, the camera is moving in a straight line. So that, that is not what we want. We, we want this to go around in a circular movement. So to create a circular movement, what we usually do is create a path and, you know, make the camera to follow the path and this is kind of time consuming so I'm gonna show you a very simple and very cool way to actually uh, do this kind of animation so uh, let's uh, just delete this path and let's create a box and then let's align this box with our subject and here our subject is our monolith and I'm just gonna uh, select this and also we are going to change the pivot point to center of the box and now uh, let's uh, let's first frame our camera to our liking so this is our first frame and now for the magic what we can do is select the camera and link our camera by clicking this link button and selecting the box so our camera is now linked with the box so now if we animate this box by rotating it our camera will just follow the movement hour of our box and that's how easy it is so let's name our camera and uh, let's hide this box Let's create another camera and uh, for this one I'm going to create a handheld look. Let's just find a, a, a beautiful frame in this amazing place. So just uh, create a box and then align this with our subject and then do not forget to uh, center the pivot and then link the camera to our box and just name this box handheld uh, camera rig okay, handheld rig and now what you can do is by selecting the box and going to our modified panel and we can now choose the prop puppet move the box according to our choice 
for now let's check out the preview and as we move the box the camera moves so for the handheld look what we need is we need to move and also rotate the camera but uh, we are going to put some limit to our movement so that it won't move too far so uh, this is X we want the camera to move in X uh, direction and Z direction that is horizontally and vertically right also we want to rotate the camera only in Y axis say about 10 degrees now let's preview it so this is how it looks I think this is fine so let's so let's go ahead and record this I'm just moving my mouse uh, just rotating around and randomly moving our mouse and that's done let's close this and let's have a look let's turn off the box and let's have a look so we get something like this now another thing is we can add a different even more layers to this motion now so what we can do is we can select our box and now again rotate it around it and now it looks like somebody is walking with the camera and another thing we can do is just we can just move the camera according to our liking so you know just move the camera and uh, iClone will make an automatic keyframe and but the shake is there so let's go ahead and move our camera closer to our subject Looks like our camera person is going here to our subject and here it might look like is running now let's go back to our previous camera and we are going to take this one step further with changing our depth of field and lens settings of the camera So let's just activate the depth of field and say around this frame we want to zoom our camera so what you can do is so we can just add a keyframe and select the choice of our lens also add another keyframe to our transform and frame the camera the way you want So that's zooming in so also what we can do is add another um, so here maybe another lens and then we can simply move the camera So that way we are getting the motion from our camera rig uh, so at the same time we are also changing our lens parameters and also 
simultaneously moving our camera. So I'm just gonna change the transition curves to ease in and ease out. So my one last tip to get this organic feel to the camera, we can add an image overlay and this is something I made and uh, I'll just crank up the opacity so that you can see the effect. It is just a simple image with uh, an opacity map and uh, just to give the effect that the lens is dirty. So let's just decrease the opacity and um, also I have another image overlay and this looks like this. And that is it guys. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and as well as it was helpful for you. So please do not forget to like, share, comment and also please if you are a new visitor please subscribe to my channel.